In this video, I'm going to talk about the supplementary angle identities in trigonometry. So we're going to start off by drawing an angle here, which is going to have a value of theta. And then we know that supplementary angles are angles that add up to 180. So to get all the way over to 180, we're going to need another angle that looks something like this one. I'm not going to label it yet because what I'm going to show you is that if we take this supplementary angle and then we flip it and line it up with the positive x-axis like this, our new angle here is 180 minus theta. So we have our original and the supplementary angle both plotted on the same, same graph. This makes it really easy to see that the supplementary angle is really just the initial angle reflected over the y-axis. And on the unit circle, the points where the angles intersect the circle have coordinates of cosine theta, sine of theta, where cosine theta is the x value and sine theta is the y value. Now, it's even more interesting because we can drop down a line like this and we can see that cosine of theta is going to be equal to some positive x value here. If we do the same thing for the supplementary angle, we'll see that this value has the same magnitude, but it's going to be negative. So we can write that as cosine of 180 minus theta equals negative x. And this is the gist of, of what I want to show you here. Um, when you have supplementary angles, the first one is going to have a positive x value and for cosine, and the supplementary angle is going to have a negative value for cosine. If we look at the same thing for sine, sine is the y value, so it's these two values that we're looking at. Sine of theta is going to equal positive y, and sine of 180 minus theta is also going to equal positive y. So these two things are going to be equal. And we can we can double check this by just plugging in um, a number. So over on the left here, I'm going to do cosine of 45 degrees. And we know that is square root of 2 over 2. And then if we do cosine of 180 minus 45, that's going to be cosine of 135, and in our diagram here, that's this red line. This is going to equal negative square root of 2 over 2. So it checks out. 